We're all used to seeing a beam depicted like this, but we often forget that it's not actually paper thin. There's actually an elevation dimension to it. So this is the beam width, but this direction is called the elevation plane. So in reality, your beam is more, not just like that, but there's also the elevation plane here. So it's more of a kind of a 3D wedge shape. So where that causes problems is when you have a gestation sac. Let's have your probe here on the dog. So if this is your elevation plane, this is this plane here, you can see that it's catching the sac, but it's also catching some of the surrounding tissue. Now your ultrasound machine, just being a computer, not all that clever, it's assuming that every echo it gets back is arising from the centre of the beam here, a beam that it's assuming is a lot thinner than it is. So what then happens is you'll often get on your monitors your gestation sac that will look a little bit cloudy, maybe around one edge, maybe half of it, maybe the whole thing. And it's just because you just need to angle your probe a little bit uh, more to the centre to avoid catching some of that surrounding tissue. So this is my high-tech gestation sac here. If you imagine my beam is actually going through the centre, you want to catch your sac here like this, not here on the edge. So just by moving it a millimetre or two or just angling it slightly you'll find that you can avoid catching some of that surrounding tissue and get those nice black sacks that will show that you have a healthy pregnancy.